Okay, hello. Um, if you missed yesterday, what we were doing was the first thing we needed to practice um, was a realistic looking eye. Remember, a realistic eye looks like a leaf lying sideways. The other thing to think about is you have your iris, which would be the colored part of an eye. So if I wanted to, I would create maybe some green with a bit of blue. And then coloring in, remembering to color in properly. The other thing to remember is that the sides of your eye are white, so to not get any color in there. And let's add a little bit of blue in here to make it interesting. You could draw lines. And then the other thing about a realistic eye, if you were doing a human, you would have a pupil that is circular. But because we are doing a cat, we can do almost a diamond shape. And the, again, coloring nice and hard and properly. And then whenever you want to make something look realistic, if it's an eye or a cat or a lion or even a human, you would need to add a highlight. Now, a highlight is where the light hits an eyeball because it is wet. And you can see that starts making it look a little bit more real. I should have actually used an eraser for that. There we go, cleaned it up. There, that was what we were practicing for eyes for our lion. The next thing I asked the girls to do was to have a nice big head. And remember, you could have used Laurel Birch's shape for that lion if you wanted to. Um, if you didn't, you didn't have to. The thing to remember is that a lion looks like a lioness before you add a, a mane onto that lion. So you could choose either to do a wavy mane or a spiky mane, it's up to you. Um, and then I wanted our lions to be walking so you would have a nice long body and not forget to, the tail. Um, we were working on big pieces of paper because next week we're going to cut out our lines after we've colored them in. The thing to also think about for your line is to section off areas within your line. I'm doing it badly here, but you would do it properly. And then in each section, you would outline whatever you are doing and then color in that section so that you have an interesting pattern in every different section. So hopefully you can see the picture on the top left hand side, that's pretty much where girls landed up. Um, we were using black paper, you can use any paper, and you might use a pen or a croquis instead. So um, see you next week, and you can see the picture at the bottom is pretty much where we will land up after next week and the following week.